for sure. Boy, it's amazing how good these four by fours have been. It's always such an exciting race because quite often, Mark, of course, it decides team championships, uh, as Leon said just a little while ago. The best people in your four by four quite often are from teams who have something to gain or lose uh, in the last event of this meet. I think uh, the sixth race in class 5A will tell us a lot about how the team outcome is going to be. As we look at uh, Olathe West in lane one, Wichita Heights lane two, Pittsburgh lane three, Shawnee Heights in lane four, Emporia lane five, Leavenworth's in lane six, Andover lane seven in lane uh, eight is the Salina South. Pittsburgh in lane three, that might be the team to watch. But I like Shawnee Heights in lane four. It's interesting to say Olathe West. That's the newest high school in Olathe. They just keep expanding to more and more high schools. But Olathe West is in lane one. And this ought to be a pretty good race. I'm not sure how to size this up, but Shawnee Heights has ran a 324 there in lane four. Yeah, at the risk of uh, dating myself, it doesn't seem that long ago there was only one Olathe school. Right, that's uh, <laughs> not that long ago. <laughs> Which was Olathe North was the original. Gardner pretty soon. I, I, think we've been, expanding. I think we've been dating ourselves this entire uh, <laughs> yeah. state track and field meet. I got to remember, at lane one, I, I like the way Olathe West, uh, the leadoff leg. The thing about this uh, four by 400 meter relay, Rod, you gotta have some depth. You can't just have a, a, a leadoff leg or an anchor leg that's outstanding. You gotta have legs two and three as we've seen throughout what uh, we saw in our results in 4A. Well, if it's gonna decide a team, Tom, you're definitely gonna need all four of them. And like we said, some of the bigger schools can have five or six, and if they're confident that they can be in the top two, they know what their kids can do. Maybe you don't run your uh, number three and four guys. Maybe you run your five and six guys uh, today and then run your three and four guys tomorrow. Uh, just It all just depends on your numbers and your depth as to how much you can get away with here in the Freelance. By the way, keeping with the theme of the bird mascot in the lay for the, lay for the West is the owls. So, Brandon, Yeah, it's right there. We have the eagles, the falcons, now the owls, the ravens, the hawks. There we go. <laughs> He's got Great it. job. <laughs> You reeled off. You're, you're, you're it's the, one of them uh, useless uh, things I, I can pick up on. Now, if there's a vote in Olathe for you, for you, you're <laughs> gonna win. That's uh, as they go to the stagger here. Again, this is the first preliminary race of the boys' four by 400 meter relay. We have reached Class 5A with a pretty good leadoff. Like they're already only at a minute 15, and they're already uh, 200 meters away from the, the handoff exchange to the third third leg here. We're about to have a new leader on the charge to the outside with baton in hand, but uh, responding to that charge and in the lead is Emporia. Emporia in the lead, Pittsburgh chasing, and now Pittsburgh trying to take the lead. Emporia doing their best. Emporia gets the handoff. Both First, good hands up. Hand Pittsburgh off. second. Both those handoffs, you hardly saw a break in stride, the momentum. Excellent handoffs by both of them running shoulder to shoulder now. Looks like uh, Wichita Heights in third. Shawnee Heights. In fact, uh, earlier I had to apologize. They got Shawnee Heights and I said Wichita Heights on our high jumper. And they look, right now they're dueling close for third and fourth. Meanwhile, up in the lead. As look at that from fifth place to third is that uh, Andover? I think it is. Andover to second. And now about to take the lead. It is the pioneers of Leavenworth out of that sixth lane. They are in second and they're making a big charge as we go to the anchor leg. Out of harm's way, anchor leg coming here. Four by 400 meter relay, class 5A. And to the lead. 200 meters to go. Wichita Heights, Emporia, Emporia with the lead. And now our leader with 200 meters to go. We've had some exchanges back and forth, some lead changes. And this looks like the pioneers of Leavenworth with Emporia chasing and then uh, Shawnee Heights right behind him. Wow. Now Shawnee Heights has taken the lead. Shawnee Heights to the finish. It's going to win this heat. Looks like Emporia second and Leavenworth third. 
What a comeback out of absolutely nowhere. Gets them into the finals. What a run. What a leg. Shawnee Heights, Leavenworth, Emporia, and Pittsburgh. And look at the finish here. Boy, how about that? Nice, nicely done from Shawnee Heights. Pumping those arms, man. And we've said it before, we emphasize it. Look how straight it is. Straight forward, straight backwards, straight forward, no Almost wasted like motion, face very relaxed. People always say, you just look so relaxed in your face when you're running. So, well, you have to. If you're in the half mile in 800, you start locking up in the back of your shoulders and your face, you're, you're in trouble. 